Howdy, 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 howdy. Welcome back to Gulch Hay Farms. Dane here. And uh, today we're putting down some go-go juice uh, on Ryan's patches. Um, we got some pretty cool things going on though. Uh, so we'll, before we get into that, we got some work to do to the sprayer. We need to fix the uh, variable flow regulator or whatever, the powered valve, regulator valve. Uh, the one, the setup that's on there, uh, it controls the hydraulic flow rather than the actual water flow from the pump. Uh, so it controls the hydraulic flow to the pump, which is, it's kind of weird. Uh, it doesn't work very well. It's from the 80s or the 90s. That's probably the original valve. Uh, so I went ahead and bought uh, a new 12 volt uh, water flow regulator. So we need to get that installed and then um, we're ready to go. Ryan's in the other field. He's got the truck. He already picked up the fertilizer from uh, the local store. And uh, he had a little predicament this morning. One of his heifers, or maybe it's a cow, uh, calved and it had triplets yeah it's first for me too <laughs> couldn't believe it uh, they're, they're dealing with it right now uh, I think two babies have made it so far uh, one was unfortunately lost didn't make it uh, so he's taking care of the twins right now um, but yeah pretty crazy triplets it's pretty unheard of I don't think I've ever heard of it I've heard of twins but uh, triplets that's pretty crazy Ryan was uh, kind enough to uh, hook the sprayer up for us. So I'm gonna pull it over here next to my work truck so I got some tools. Maybe if we have time today we can go check out the twins. It's pretty cool, I can't get over it, it's crazy. Would never have thought I would have seen triplets from a cow. Let me show you what we're doing. So this is the initial setup uh, pressure line going into the monitor. Uh, this is the feed side to our three solenoids for the three boom sections. And then this is uh, for our agitator. So that line feeds back into the tank, hits some nozzles and it stirs the tank for us. Uh, so I need to take this side apart and somehow plumb the new regulator in here uh, and then mount this on the back side of that regulator. I think, that's my theory anyway. Story, Tell them about your cows real quick. I had triplets this morning. <laughs> Not personally, but <laughs> you know it looks like it. I had uh, two alive though, still. So. Yep, two twins. Or I guess triplets, two of them made it. So I guess they're doing all right for now. For now. We figured out the dry fit, so we're working on that. Um, I wanted to tell you real quick about this company I reached out to to help us with uh, GPS. And uh, the company's name is Agrecision, and uh, they have an on the product called OnTrack. And what it is, it's this little uh, device. And um, it's basically a light bar. You can see it here. I'll turn these lights on real quick. And so uh, there's a GPS receiver inside of here uh, with a built-in light bar, right? This product, it'll sync to any iPhone or iPad. It's got a, an app on the App Store and uh, it Bluetooths and it communicates with the iPad back and forth. So what you do is you stick this on the hood of your tractor. It's got magnets uh, here on all four corners. And so it'll, it'll stick to the tractor. If, you, if your tractor is uh, fiberglass, they provide steel disc with double-sided disc sticky tape. But it sticks on the hood and so you're looking out over the hood at this light bar. Um, and then you go in and I'll show you in a minute, you set up your app based on implement width uh, and set up all your dimensions, you know, relative to where this device sits. And then it gives you a, a A to B point in your field. And then it gives you real time uh, steering correction to keep you straight in the field. So uh, the guys at Agrecision were uh, nice enough to send me one to try out. Uh, so we're going to do that today. Uh, Ryan uh, needs to fertilize his fields or he wants to. We're supposed to, I think, what is it they say? Two to three inches? I hope. Yeah. So... Two to three inches uh, forecasted for tomorrow, so we're gonna try to get this fertilizer out, and uh, hopefully this device here lets us get in, get it in, and get it in accurately. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna fire it up, and I'll, I'll kind of run through how it works uh, once we get set up here. But for now, we're just finish up this sprayer and uh, start getting the stuff out. Yeah, so this Agrecision uh, on track product is actually made in England, uh, and I sent the guys an email. Um, the reason I even contacted them was uh, basically the price point and what we're trying to achieve here. Um, it's uh, very effectively priced, uh, I think, for getting a, a decently accurate uh, GPS light bar system on your tractor. And the beauty about this thing is um, I mean, you can, it can sit in any, any type of vehicle, even if you're spreading fertilizer, uh, like granular fertilizer, and you rent a buggy from the co-op or whatever, you can put it on the hood of your truck, you know, measure out how far it throws it and get on down the road and at least at least you're not you know doubling up all the time or whatever so i firmly and truly believe that a device like this is going to help us uh save tons of money down the road and like if you saw in our previous episodes 
uh, while we were spraying. I mean, we're literally guessing, right? Um, I've used uh, some other apps um, using the phone GPS or the tablet GPS, and it's hit or miss. I mean, it, it did it did allow us to get somewhat more accurate, uh, but at the same time, it's not accurate enough. This device here uh, will get us within uh, 20 to 30 centimeters, which is about a foot. So a, a foot accuracy. It's not like RTK and all these guys, all those same GPS features that these guys are using, you know, to plant corn. And this this product is not meant for that. Uh, it is strictly, they recommend it for uses like what we we're trying to achieve today. So yeah, the product is strictly used or intended to be used for spreading, spraying applications, things of the nature where they do, don't require uh, extreme accuracy. Obviously a perfect fit for what we're trying to achieve here. All right, we got the new solenoid plumbed in, it works. Ryan's gonna fire it up and see how bad of a job we did. What's the pressure? That looks good. All right. Solenoid works. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Well, we have successfully uh, tried the unit and it works flawlessly. Pretty slick. Ryan's over here excited because he's been doubling up this whole time. So there's the unit right there showing that we're off the line because we are off the line. I'll get in here and show you real quick what we're working with as far as the iPad's concerned. So here's our iPad. We have it rigged up right now. Um, this is the app that comes with it. It's Bluetooth to the unit. And so it tells us where we are. So, so this does a, uh, an AB line for you. It, that's all the, that's the only, uh, type of guidance it'll do. So, um, you set your AB, which we already did in this field just to try it out. Um, we went through, um, works fantastic. You can set up your, uh, implement width. It tells you your, uh, true speed, uh, tells you how many acres you've actually covered. Um, we're going to reset all this. There we go. So you can measure your boundaries. It'll tell you the area it covers. So you can drive around the field. It'll map your boundary. It'll do all that. You can save fields, uh, to maintain the same AB lines. You can do all kinds of things. It's pretty, I wouldn't say it's limited, but it has, it has a certain purpose and it's to give you guidance. And uh, that's what it does. And it, and, it, and it does it well. I mean, we were I think we were within a foot. Easy. Ryan's got the nurse tank over here. He's folding up the wing, putting some fertilizer in this thing. Let her rip, potato chip. Well, we got it all filled up for this field here. It's about 12 acres. We're doing 200 pounds of nitrogen to the acre. And uh, we're gonna see if we didn't get our calibrations correct. Got one little hose to fix here. Six miles an hour, 40 PSI. Okay, that was mine. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, it's looking good. We're just getting the setting set up. Uh, it's a little bit of a calibration we have to do. Uh, we're trying to put about 18 gallons down to the acre. Fertilizer is about 11 pounds a gallon. It's right about 200 pounds ish, mas y menos. We have a pressure gauge. It's telling us our pressures uh, relative to those tips. And we, we have a chart for the tips that we're using that tell us how fast we need to go and at what pressure. Is it accurate? We don't know, but we know how many gallons it's gonna take to do this field. We've measured it. We know how exactly how big this field is. We filled it with Masi Minos, the correct amount of liquid. And so we shall see how it does at the end of this field. Uh, super intuitive, 
really easy. Again, it's only an AB and you just follow it using the light bar. It seems to me like it's doing a pretty dead gum good job. It looks like we're a little off on our rate. I made him adjust up to 50 PSI in the middle of the field. Well, I got 50 gallons in there still. It's about 500 pounds, about two acres. He's gonna do his in rows and see, finish this pass up, do his in rows. Then we'll see how much we have left. And, and it might be just working out just perfect to do about 50 PSI to get us about to that 200 acres, 200 pounds an acre. Well, Ryan's finishing up the field. We had to clean out some nozzles that were clogged. We removed the screens and we probably are wishing we didn't. Uh, Ryan just emptying the tank out. We had a little bit extra. We're still working on our calibration. Uh, we are heading to his little four acre hay patch and then we're gonna take it down the road, go to his uh, other 12 acres. There we go, so there's, there's a pass. There's a pass. Ryan's on that pass. There's a pass. There's a pass. And there's the final pass. Well, how'd it do? I did good. Yeah? Very happy with it. Good. Well, we've just filled up Ryan uh, with enough gallons to cover this little patch here. Look at all these rocks you start up. See all those? It's hard on my equipment. Oh, no, I just flunked right <laughs> Well, uh, Ryan finished up his little five acre pair, four acre patch. We're heading to his new house where he's got about a 12 acre hay patch and this is the field last summer about July we had cut it late it was July it was the first cutting and we made 70 bales on 10 acres it was unbelievable and so uh, we're uh, we're kind of hoping that that's like some sacred coastal ground and uh, if we uh, pour the coals to it, it might help us out. So, so far it seems like Ryan's really loving that GPS system, AgriCision. Uh, they did a good job with their on-track system. We haven't gotten our calibrations right on our sprayer, and so we're basically damn near doubling up, uh, going over the field twice essentially to put out the appropriate uh, amount of fertilizer that we're calling for. Not a big deal, but it actually gives us an opportunity to see Ryan's not following his tracks. He's following what the GPS is telling him, the on-track system is telling him. And uh, I called him on the phone while he was running that tractor and he's like, actually, I'm looking down right now and uh, I'm within six inches of my last pass. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. For spraying and fertilizing, that is the way to go. I'll let him show you how it all works. He's gotten some good practice with it and I think he's pretty pleased with it. And he knows how it operates. And uh, The iPad gives you great visual. Um, it does a great job of recording where you've been and obviously we're seeing how uh, it records when you double up It tells you the amount of acres covered um, It does a great job. I mean for, for, for this application Putting out fertilizer or if we were spraying weeds It's the it's the bees knees. That's for sure. So Thank you great. track yeah got it let me get backed up here for old Daner Dane's gonna unfold these wings the way this works is we have the actual GPS unit on the hood once we start you have your AB line set which the glare may be kind of bad but basically when we start we set point A so point A is obviously you know this where we are beginning once we get a good direction you don't even necessarily have to get all the way to the end of your field um, just kind of depends on the different you know structures of your field but if your basic line is straight and you find your point B you set point B and then it will set your lines all the way across the screen and as you turn you find your next line lines there are pretty user-friendly so if you're in the green, you're good. If you're in the red to the right to the left, you just move to where you're back in the green. 
This has been a pretty cool little experience to get this started. And I'm looking forward to, really looking forward to using it when we start spraying grays on again in the spring. So I'm gonna get to spraying and we're going to see how she works. So be, when you tap the screen, it shows where you have started spraying. So where you spray, it marks that it has been sprayed. Going pretty straight. This is pretty much what I want. So I set my point B. So you see all the lines, and then you can see how I'm way off now. What a straight line was, and then you find your center. But there is the money spot. So you want to be in that green, find your line, stay on it, and as you can tell, where you have that little bit of overlap. It's actually a darker shade of uh, green. So, like, if we manage to have enough in this tank to do it twice or any portion of the field twice, then you would be seeing where you go twice because it'll have the green on there uh, darker. We're going to find our next line. awesome <laughs> you know it really puts into perspective like how much we were actually missing or how much we were overlapping you'd look over and see your tracks and like and you're really just gauging based on depth perception how far your boom needs to be away from the tracks you already went over and now there's no second guessing we're going to use the product a little more um, again i can't thank agrecision enough for letting us uh, use one of their units the best thing about it i mean think about dollars being saved here um if we go back and look and see what like Ryan had covered when he was putting out poison without GPS, we we're probably doing it like a pass every 30 feet versus 60 feet. So that we're almost doubling up on time covered in the field. We can mix the appropriate ratios between poison and water and uh, match our gallons to the acre and not really have to worry about uh, using too much here, using too much there, uh, how much money we're losing based on, you know, for all you farmers out there, you know how expensive uh, these chemicals can be, and uh, especially when you're covering hundreds of acres, it makes quite the difference. And these units might cost a little bit of money up front, but it, what you get in the end, uh, it's a no-brainer. Dollars saved, it's a real thing when you're using items like this. A return on investment, your ROI if you want, I mean, a couple seasons and this thing's easily paid for, and not to mention time, you know. If we're doing a pass every 30 feet, but really could, we could cover every 60 feet, I mean, you're, you're doubling our time, you know. <laughs> so, you know, time's, time's worth money, you know, time is everything, time is money. Um, and then not to mention the chemicals. So, I have no complaints with the system so far. I haven't run it, but uh, based on what Ryan's doing, Ryan's never used any GPS system. He's used the old fence post 3000 trick where you find a fence post in the distance, you think you're, you know, squared off enough and you aim at it and ride it all the way to the end. Whether it was accurate or not, nobody knows, but chances are it wasn't. But yeah, it's a great, it's a great system. So again, uh, thank you, AgriCision. It's quite the tool, quite the tool. We had a busted line, but uh, nothing. These lines are all these, we need to replace them, but we're actually gonna rebuild this sprayer. But these lines, uh, they're old and brittle and they'll break. Here it goes. Putting it out like a G. I wish we could cut all this coastal. But yeah, we're going to rebuild that sprayer. Uh, it's a good little sprayer. Got a good pump on it. It's got good booms on it. Got done uh, spraying here, but uh, we have a lot of fertilizer all over his cab tractor. He already rinsed it out. Oopsies. The uh, hose popped loose on the pressure uh, gauge and started pouring fertilizer into the cab. Never fun. Does that make you want to do granular again? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's all part of So yeah. Agrecision on track worked great, right Ryan? Would you give it a pretty good thumbs up? Yeah, yeah. I've sprayed and done that stuff for a while. And uh I think 
think I've been over spraying and overdoing it for a long time. <laughs> yeah. It's the uh, same fields that I've been spraying. I sure did a lot less rounds. So. <laughs> it did well. So, and the beauty about it is it can flip flop between um, vehicles. And it was easy. And it's easy. Yeah. Super easy. Like it sinks right up. You turn your app on, make sure your Bluetooth's on, turn the uh, GPS tracker on. And uh, as soon as you open the app, it syncs up and it's ready to go. It's all battery powered. You don't have to wire it up to the battery or anything. Um, it is battery powered. You charge it. It's got a 24 hour battery on it. I think we burned 10% today out of the 28 acres we did. The iPad does not need uh, any kind of service or Wi-Fi. Uh, it works strictly off of uh, just GPS, setting your AB lines. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, it worked great. But thanks, AgriCision, uh, for letting us uh, use that giving us a chance to try it out. It's really our first stab at doing uh, some GPS or using GPS for uh, any type of fertilizer spraying. If y'all are interested, I will link the uh, address or the website down below in the description. Um, so you can go take a look for yourself. Um, I think they're offering free shipping to the United States and it gets here pretty quick. So go check them out if you're interested in uh, saving a few dollars on putting fertilizer and spray up. Try. Don't worry, it's just water. Well, that's all we have today, folks. Uh, ended up getting all of it sprayed. Ryan seemed happy oh, till the I'm last super, ten minutes. Super happy. <laughs> super happy. Till his tractor got fertilizer all over it. Yeah. But uh, you got it cleaned up. Well, anyway, I'm taking the truck back. Ryan's gonna take the tractor back. All good. We'll see you later. Yes, Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.